I think it was 1999. That's when I fell in love. When when there's this South African DJ, DJ Fresh, he came out with the song. Um, what is it? When you are ready, I will surrender. I was 12 years old. I was 12 when I was like, wow. I like listening to a song where you can feel where this person is and dance at the same time. I like dance on an up-tempo beat and not like dance when you would be listening to Destiny's Child, you know, and you slow dance, but like dance and be emotional at the same time. That's awesome. I didn't know there was that kind of music. <laughs> so, my singing career started in um, 2007. I studied music at uh, Central Johannesburg College. Um, and then, yeah, I studied bass though. So, I played bass, and they were looking for a singer, someone that can sing and dance. Someone that was not shy, someone apparently that is wild, because apparently I'm wild. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, so this other guy recommended me, and then I went to studio with Demor from Demor Music, the company that signed me, and we recorded Turn Me On. Yes, Turn Me On was the first song I ever recorded. Ever song, the first song ever written by me. Turn Me On. Most of the songs that I write about and people love are songs that I'm writing about, I'm writing for or writing about because I have a crush on someone. So there was this guy at school, he was like very, very hot and all the girls liked him. So this one time he just said hi to me and I was like, hi. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, I was like, uh, oh, he's so hot, he turns me on. I didn't even know what that meant. But I would hear people say it on TV and I thought, that sounds cool. So I started saying, things turn me on. <laughs> like him saying hi to me turned me on. <laughs> I mean, really. I just came from New York. Hey, I'm in Toronto right now. If you missed me, shame. Sorry for you. And uh, yeah, um, I just finished recording my third album that has the song Get Over It that people are just going crazy over. And I'm launching it August in South Africa and then September I'm coming back to the United States of America and I'll, I'll, be, I'll have my mini tour where I go and promote and launch my album. And then in August again I'll be in Europe and South Africa. I'll be touring Europe and South Africa in and out. Yeah. And yeah, watch out for Wissy. I'm, 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 I'm working on making sure that everyone in the world knows what house music is all about. Yeah, I went to Hong Kong and they were dancing at 2 a.m. on a Tuesday when they have to go to work the next day. That was beautiful. My third album is titled The Princess of House. Um, I'm not, I did not call myself the princess of house. There's like a whole lot of people that were telling me that I'm like the, the, the face of house now and saying all those things. I'm the princess of house because apparently they couldn't call me the queen of house because I'm still young. Um, especially in South Africa, when I started with Turn Me On, then a whole lot of female artists came with different songs, you know, different sound. So people thought it was me at the same time. So they said, I must. They, 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 there's gonna be like I don't know why they put it like that, but they said, because this, 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 um, the title came with fans, people that love my music. I did not come up with it. They're the ones. I went on Facebook and I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna release my third album. I don't know what to call it, and they came with ideas and they're like, why not call it the Prince of House? Why? Because there's gonna be people that do house music and all that, but you're the prince, the princess of house. Miami. Uh, it was my first time and uh, it was awesome because I've been performed on my birthday. Yes, on um, the Thursday that the awards, that was the first performance in Miami. It was my birthday, so it was special. And um, it was just, I came just for that performance. And the next thing, my agent will be calling me like, okay, they need you to come and perform at this party. I'm like, oh, okay, what time? All right, I'll be there. 
then the next day I'm thinking I was done. The next day I'll get a call again. Okay, there's this other party they want you to come perform, and I'm like, oh, okay, it's good. It, it, it's, it's. I always say this. It's overwhelming, but in a good way, and it just humbles me how people love my music, how people just appreciate me. I did not expect it. So, not only being known in South Africa, but being known almost everywhere in the world, all over the world. Wow, it's, it's awesome. First time in Canada, first time in Toronto. I heard that you guys love house music. I'm yet to see just how much because um, I was so nervous. There's one thing, I'm always nervous when I go to a certain country. I always ask myself, okay, I heard that they know my music, but do they really know my music? And how well do they know my music? And I'm gonna perform at a club, are they gonna show up? How many people are gonna be there? I always ask myself those questions. So I've heard that people from Toronto just go crazy over house music so I'm gonna see that tonight exactly how crazy do they go over house music okay I've always wanted to have a song with Terry Terry Hunter that dream came true <laughs> I have a song I just recorded a song with him in New York just a couple of days ago Out of house music, I'd love to have a song with Roberta Flack. That woman, her voice is pure. It's, it's amazing. She had her time. I've got all her CDs, best of. Oh, she's amazing. You must go and Google her or just buy her CDs. Then you'll know what I'm talking about. She's just one of the people that inspire me. The way she writes her music and the way she delivers her lyrics. I look up to her, I think. I'm trying to be her, but in a house, in a house theme. <laughs> I'm trying to be Roberta Flack because she's original. I love hip hop. Uh, I love it more now because I was in New York and I saw how they dance for it, and it was like, wow, I was so mesmerized. <laughs> so house music, uh, house music, hip hop, R&B, soul, and a bit of jazz. But now my number one favorite song right now is Michael Bublé. I haven't met you yet. Oh. I just haven't met you yet. Mm, 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 mm. Oh man. I was in in my, uh, I was in um, London. A club called Area. I was supposed to perform around 1, so I stayed in my room, that it was a Sunday. So I stayed in my room and I was like, I'm tired, you know, because when, when, when I travel, I'm always tired because of the time difference. Even though in London and South Africa it's not that far, but I was still exhausted and I was just pulling myself going on stage, you know. I got there at the venue and there was this long chain of people waiting to come in, to go in. And then I got inside, the club was already packed. So I, I was asking myself, how are they going to do this, you know? And they tried to send other people back home and nobody wanted to go anywhere. I got on stage, I performed Superman and they broke the doors and the gates and they forced their way inside. Yes, as I was performing, they had to cut the music and like try to control. I'm like, these people are not here to hurt me, they just want to see me perform, that's all. So just leave them, let me do my thing, they're not gonna attack me, they just want to see me. And then I just performed and someone took a video and it's like, oh, emotional! <laughs> Boosy, I love you, oh my god! <laughs> so whenever I watch that video, I just want to listen to the guy in the background, I don't even watch myself. <laughs> Hi beautiful people, this is your girl Boosie and let there be house, let there be house, amen. <laughs>